Oh, uh, hello everyone. I'm gonna do another video on who God is and who Jesus is. Who God the Father is and who Jesus Christ is, the Son of God. Who they both are, truthfully, who they are. And today we're looking at uh, some verses that are in my Con Trinity verses list here. You can see um, I was going to do 1 John 5.20, but I read the chapter and there was more to be, there's, there's a lot to unpack in this chapter. So we're just going to do 1 John 5, uh, and we're going to go all the way up to 1 John 5, uh, up to 1 through one through 7. So we're just going to do these right here, and then later we'll do the rest of the chapter because there's just so much to unpack here. We're just going to do this first paragraph here. So it's going to be this first paragraph right here that we are going to do. Okay. So this is 1 John uh, chapter 5. I'll read the, the paragraph in English first, and then I'll read it in um, Greek and correct some things that need to be corrected. Everyone who believes that, that Jesus is the Christ has been born of God, and everyone who loves him who begets also loves the one who has been born of him. By this we know that we love the children of God. Uh, when we love God and keep his commandments, for this is the love of God, that we keep his commandments, and his commandments are not heavy, because every thing having been born of God overcomes the world, and this is the victory overcoming the world, our faith. Who is the one overcoming the world except the one who believes that Jesus is the Son of God? This is the one coming through water and blood, Jesus Christ, not by the water only, but by the water and the blood. And the Spirit is the one witnessing because of the Spirit, because the Spirit is truth. Now this verse 7 is italicized, which means it's been added in uh, in the old, some of the old Greek texts, I'd say. I think there is one that still has it in there, I'm not sure, but... For seven, uh, ver, uh, verse seven, for there are three bearing witness in heaven, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Spirit, and these three are one. Okay, now let me read it in the Greek and try to correct a few things here. So, so everyone, so we read from left to right in the Greek, everyone believing that Jesus is the Christ of the of God, there's that extra uh, tau right in front of God there. You can see of, it's supposed to be of the of God. Uh, because the tau is of the, and the O, the U on the end of God is also an of. So it's of the of God. So everyone believing that Jesus Christ is, or Jesus is the Christ of the of God has been born. And everyone loving the the begetting, that one you can see has been added there. It's just supposed to be the. And everyone loving the begetting loves also the having been born of him. That one is eliminated again. Uh, by this we know that we love the children of God. Whenever God we love and the commandments of him we keep, this for is the love of God, that the commandments of him we keep and the commands of him heavy not are, because everything having been born of God overcomes the world, and this is the victory overcoming the world, the faith of us. Who is the overcoming the world except the believing that Jesus is the Son of God? This is the coming through water and blood, Jesus of Jesus the Christ, not by the water only, but by the water and the blood and the Spirit, of the witnessing, for the Spirit is the truth. And now here we are to that italicized, and here it is, parentheses, because three, there are bearing witness in heaven, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Spirit, and these three, one is. So that's not even supposed to be that, but let's unpack a little bit of this while we're here. So we already did the first sentence, everyone believing that Jesus is the Christ of the of God has been born. Now that's an interesting thing, word right there, the 1080 um, has been born. So what what is the meaning of that 1080? Well, it's it's 
Janio in the in the uh, Greek, uh, and it's where we get the word genetics. It's where we get the word uh, um, genealogy. Uh, <clears throat> so that word, and when you look at it in like the first times it's used in Matthew one, it's talking about <clears throat> the father gave birth to the son, you know, caused the birth of the son. The father of this person uh, was this person. So it is being actually born. Okay, now that is talking about us on the first one. <clears throat> and then, then everyone loving the begetting loves also the having been born of him. So we have here, we are born again, which means in the spirit because it says everyone believing that jesus is the christ of the of god has been born so that's not talking about a physical now is it that is talking about a spiritual our spirits have been reborn because we now love jesus christ and we love him through his father god and then it continues and everyone loving the begetting loves also the one having been born of him well, it's the same word here. We got 1080. It's, it's slightly different because they say having been on the second part, and they only say has been born on the first one. So having been born of him. Well, who of him is that? That is of God the Father. Jesus Christ, having been born of God the Father. Having a genetics with the Father. Having a a line with the Father. A line of... of uh, um, he can trace his roots to his father. Just like I can trace my roots to my father. By this we know that we love the children of God. Whenever God we love and the commandments of him we keep, for this is the love of God, that the commandments of him we keep and the commands of him heavy not are, because everything having been born of God overcomes the world, and this is the victory over... Uh, overcoming the world, the faith of us. So we have been born again in the spirit or, re, or rebirthed in the spirit. We are born, we are alive to God. And because of that, everything born of God overcomes the world. So we have victory over the world because we believe truly that Jesus Christ is the Son of God who is born of God, right? Right? He is born of God. Um, okay, so here we go. Uh, who is the overcoming the world except the believing in Jesus is the Son of God? So that's our confirmation of what I just said was that the overcoming the world except the believing that Jesus is the Son of God. So you cannot overcome the world if you do not believe that Jesus is the Son of God. Of the of God. There's that of the of God again. So it's of the of God. Um, this is the concerning or coming through water and blood. Jesus the Christ. So that O is omitted some reason for some reason in the translation. I don't know why. Jesus the Christ is what you should say. Not by the water only, but by the water and the blood. And the spirit is the witnessing for the spirit is the truth so that is very important to realize is the spirit of god almighty is the witnessing and the spirit of god almighty is the truth 100 percent. you can't be speaking about god almighty the father and not speak about truth because he is truth Okay, and then we go to this uh, stuff that's in parentheses here because there are uh, three that are bearing witness in heaven, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Spirit. And these three, one is. So this is, this is an added Trinitarian uh, verse. Um, it has been added somewhere along the lines because this is not in, in most of the old... Uh, texts because three there are bearing witness in heaven so it's it sounds the same as what 
is what uh, is what will come later in chapter eight. I'll, I'll talk about that in another video, but um, or in verse eight, verse eight. Uh, so three that bearing witness in heaven, the Father, okay, God the Father, the Word, so that's the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Now it's interesting that it calls holy. It says Holy Spirit here because usually where the Holy Spirit is mentioned, it is it is written as Spirit, the Holy. So why did they call? It, why did they call it something different than they do in all the rest of the Bible, in the Greek? Right here they call it Holy Spirit, where normally it is Spirit, the Holy. So they change that even. So it gives you a clue that this is more modern than it is from the original Greek. And these three, one is. Okay, so ev sometimes can mean one, and ev can sometimes mean in. These three, in is, is what it could be. But this is all an added text, so you can pretty much just throw it out, because it is trying to confirm the Trinity, because all the rest of this stuff kind of sounds like, oh, they're, they're actually separate. Jesus is born of God. Um, we are born of God because we, we believe in Jesus Christ, uh, having been born of him, which is, which is, a a father at the love of the children of, of the, of God, which is the father, whatever, uh, the God we love or whenever the God we love. Um, so there's a lot of, there's a lot of separation in this text for is the love of the, of God that the commandments of him we keep and the commands of him heavy not are. Anyway, there's a lot of stuff that they felt like they had to correct to make the Trinity uh, what everyone wants to believe here, what they're trying to. They're trying to say, because you, when you go on to eight, which I'll get into that in another video, but it, I'll read eight. And three there are who bear witness on the earth, the spirit and the water and the blood, and the three to the one are. So you can see this added text took verse 8, this added text in 7, took verse 8 and changed it to match the Trinity belief. So it says, and there are three who, there are, uh, and three there are that bear witness on the earth, the Spirit, God's Holy Spirit, the water, which do not know, I don't know exactly what that would be. And the blood, okay, so you can you can try to extrapolate what what the water and the blood necessarily are, and the three to the one are so that doesn't really like that doesn't say anything other than the only thing spiritual mentioned there is the spirit, the Holy Spirit of God the Father, and the water is not capitalized, and the blood is not capitalized, so you can't say that those are divine in this text. Anyway, so that's uh, breaking this down. I will break down the rest of this chapter, which is a, there's a lot to unpack in this chapter. First uh, John uh, chapter 5 has a lot of God the Father's uh, wisdom in it. And if you like this video, please like and subscribe so you get the next video on John 5 that I'm going to do. I'm going to break this down. Things get, um, you know, there's a lot of wisdom to be had in 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 um, in First John five about who uh, God is and who Jesus is. Truly, who God the Father is, and truly, who Jesus Christ is. So I pray you have a blessed day in Jesus Christ's name. Amen.